You won't need those fancy instant cooking and fry gadgets if you get yourself a Dutch oven. Today I'll show you how to take boring chicken thighs and make a flavor packed one pot meal with my recipe for chicken thighs with potatoes and carrots. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. On this channel, we teach you all about celebrating. We share recipes for food, hors d'oeuvres, cocktails, and we share entertaining tips too. Now we try and keep it all as simple as we can, especially for those of you out there who say that you just can't cook or entertain, because we know that you really can. So if you like this episode, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, Hit the notification bell and you'll get a new episode every single week. Today our celebration is kind of about comfort food. We are going to be making Dutch oven chicken thighs. Sounds fun, huh? So let's get started. The first thing we're going to start with is I'm going to show you some prep work. I don't show you much of the prep work so I wanted to show you what we do. We're going to start with our vegetables. I'm just not cooking plain old chicken thighs. We're having, the vet, having them with some potatoes and carrots and onions and things. I have a big, big bowl of vegetables here. I started out with potato. I have four potatoes, one per person. All I did was I scrubbed them off and I diced them down to a large dice, about one inch thick, half an inch, about that size. Then I did the same thing with four carrots, four medium, medium large carrots. Just peeled them down and cut them into big coins, big chunks, kind of on the bias. Same thing, four stalks of celery into big chunks, just scrubbed them down. Then I took one large onion and did the exact same thing. I peeled it, large dice, and then finally I took two cloves of garlic, big, big cloves, smushed them a bit with my knife, and then rough chop, they're all in this bowl, all mixed up, ready to go. Took me less than 10 minutes to do all that, believe it or not. So we'll put that aside. Now, we're going to do some more flavoring with this. We have a little more than just chicken and vegetables. We're going to do some herbage. Yeah, I've got this kind of scary pile of stuff here, you're wondering. Here's a new term for you. We're going to make a bouquet garni. What is that? That is a great way. It's just a term that means we're making a bouquet, a bouquet of herbs. We're going to bundle it all together so they don't get lost in the pot. Now, I have here some cheesecloth. You can buy cheesecloth in your grocery store. It's usually wherever the gadgets are. If you don't find it, ask someone. They'll have it somewhere. And it's very cheap. It's literally for making cheese. There are types of cheese that you would make for it. It's also great for this. So I just cut a piece that I thought I would need. Doesn't have to be perfect. Now for my herbs. We're using first parsley. I have some parsley here. Now this is some parsley that I had already started chopping from, but I've still got the stems and there's a ton of flavor. So we're gonna use that. We're just gonna break them, smush them. They don't have to be pretty. They just need to go in here for flavor. Next, fresh sage. Again, looks a little wilted, that's okay. Next up, my favorite, rosemary. One little branch will do you. And finally, my other favorite, thyme. Hmm. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Okay, shout out to all you oldsters who just sang that along with me. A little more goes into this. A couple of bay leaves. And why I'm using the cheesecloth, I'm going to throw in some peppercorns. It's gonna add a little spice to it, but a little background. If I weren't using that, I would just tie that up with plain kitchen twine, but I don't want these little guys getting lost in the broth and someone eating them later. So put them in there. And really, you just bundle it all up. It doesn't matter if some of it sticks out. 
and you just tie it up in a little parcel, kind of like Christmas. Just that simple. Now, when I'm done cooking, this will all be together. I can fish this whole thing out. I don't have to look for stems or anything. All right, that's our vegetable done. Let's talk chicken. Today, I'm using chicken thighs. I love chicken thighs. I have a big plate of them here and they look kind of funny. So what I did, I did, I have eight thighs here, two per person. And I took the skin off and trimmed them down and then I dredged them in flour. So I did seven of them and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do. You can get boneless, skinless thighs. I prefer them on the bone, there's just more flavor. So the first thing you do, it's got all this extra skin, you just pull it off, really, it's that simple. You get to there, it's a little tougher, sharp knife, cut it right off, and discard. Now, we have some fat here and there, we're just gonna trim it off. That's the good thing about chicken thighs, they have that extra fat which gives more flavor, but sometimes they get a little too much and you don't want a fatty gravy. You can come here, take off little bits. But that's really all you need to do, just the great big, big hunks. Now, I'm dredging these in flour. Why am I doing that? We're going to brown them, that's gonna help them brown. It's going to add depth of flavor. It's gonna help the sauce thicken up a little bit. So I have some flour in a dish. This is just maybe, I don't know, I just threw some flour in. I didn't even measure. You notice I'm not measuring today. Uh, flour in my dish, I added some salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Just to flavor it. So just a quick dredge. You're not flouring, you're not breading, we're not doing a batter, literally just that fast and that's it now we're ready to start cooking so let me get my burner and my pot out and we'll get cooking now here we are we're ready to start cooking i have here one of my favorite cast iron dutch ovens so don't be afraid of a dutch oven you see them they're very very expensive and you see them for hundreds of dollars but you know what they're not all expensive i'm gonna leave you a link to some options that are much more affordable than the big fancy ones you see. But this is one of those pots you wanna have. It'll last you a lifetime. So, first some oil. Again, I'm not measuring. We're just gonna coat the bottom of the pan. That's about all you need. And we're just gonna get this get hot. And we're gonna start browning our chicken. Because brown food tastes good. It's gonna add more flavor. Now this is the, probably the part that takes the longest. It's gonna take a few minutes, and I'm gonna do it in batches. So we'll just start with a couple. You don't wanna crowd your pan. So in this big guy, I can fit four of my chicken thighs. We just let them sit, don't play with them too much, just leave them be, let them brown. Listen to it. The sizzle will start to die down and that's when they're about ready to turn over. Alrighty, now they're all browned. I just took them out, I put them on this plate so they can rest and it just came out of the spa. Now we're gonna go on with the vegetables. We have all of our lovely vegetables. We're just gonna dump them in. Now I should say I cut off the heat because you don't need to cook this right now. This is screaming hot. Right in. Salt and pepper. There's a lot of potatoes in here. Good grinding of pepper. Our bouquet garni. Just gonna nestle that right in there, right among the vegetables. Some chicken sock. You don't need a lot. Maybe that much. And of course, my favorite white wine. 
which is optional. You could leave this out. Now you don't need to have this drowning in liquid because all these vegetables are gonna release their own liquid. The chicken is gonna release the liquid. This is just to get them started. Now we're gonna nestle these beauties right back on top. And you see they aren't dark, dark brown, they're golden brown, which is just what you want. Just fit them in however they fit in. Now at this point, you know, these are not cooked all the way through. So don't get all snacky and take a big bite out of one. It'll be in for a surprise. All right, our chicken's all in and ready. Now, I'm gonna put a cover on this. This is gonna go off to the ovens, 350, they're about for 45 minutes or so, and then I'll pull it out and I'll check it. If they still look a little underdone, or if they're not quite done, I'll put them, leave them back in uncovered for 15 minutes. Now, I might already have one that I made earlier, so I'll be right back. And here we are. Now, this is a different pot because I made one earlier. Why not? So let's see how this went. Now, recap, in the oven, 45 minutes. I pulled them out, I checked it. They were well above 160. I put them back in the oven, uncovered for a little bit, about 15 more minutes. Again, a little brown and crunchy. Let's see what they look like. Ha oh, ha, that. Looks wonderful. So I'm gonna to go to my favorite part now, the tasting. See if I can take a little thigh right here, right on my little plate. And get down into some of the vegetables. Yeah. Lovely. Now I'm going to show you that bouquet garni in this pot is all right here. Boom, comes out super simple. But let's have a taste. Try a little bit of chicken. It's falling off the bone almost. Maybe a little chicky and a little potato. Oops, one bite. Mmm, <laughs> wow. Can I just tell you, those potatoes, those vegetables just soaked up all that chicken flavor and they're soft, but they're not mushy. And that's the key. And that chicken is tender and juicy and just unctuous. And look how simple this was, dinner in one pot. Now, a little sip of my favorite wine, same wine I'm drinking is what went in here. Mm. That's good stuff. So, as always, we will have this recipe up in the comments section on YouTube and on our website. And, just like always, we'll see you again next Tuesday at 7 p.m. because you are all invited to come on over, come on in, and let's celebrate. Cheers! <laughs>